Okay, welcome back. Uh, the next part we're going to talk about after we do the inner post assembly is talking about putting on the post skins. So, in your kit, you're going to have eight, part number 26, eight of part number 27, so two per post. You're going to have four of part number 37, which are the post caps. Then you're going to have four of part number 34 and four of part number 34A. So, getting started with uh, putting the post skins on, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take part number 26 and you're going to lay one of them down and you're going to put a nice bead of glue all the way over uh, the piece. Try to get every inch of the wood covered up because that way uh, you won't have any gaps. Um, then what you're going to do is you're just going to come over here and it really doesn't matter which side of the post you pick but you're just going to lay this post down flat on it and the glue will automatically stick to it and you want to make sure that it's completely flush with this end right here so if you have to put it down on the surface to get it flat you want to make sure that it's completely 100 percent flat um, when you do it because that's going to make it the exact length that needs to be down here on the bottom everything is good so you've got your first piece stuck to it next you're going to take two of part number 27 and you're going to put glue up and down each strip of that and then what you're going to do is you're just going to fold them up on the sides and you're going to do the exact same thing as you did before you're going to make sure that it's flush on the end. And you'll see that part number 26 nestles right in between part number 27. If you have a little bit of overlap, that's actually fine because we're, we're, we're going to have to do some filling and sanding along these seams. So it's not that big of a deal. So now you've got three pieces on there. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to take another of part number 26 and you are going to glue it up all, the whole thing and slap it in there so now when you get it all nice and flat on the ends you're going to have a nice form-fitting square piece that goes all the way around the post now the reason we want it flat on the end is we need to come along and put post cap on there part number 37 make sure it's flat and it'll look like that and it, the part number 37 is a little bit bigger and I did that on purpose, sand it down flush, do some filling, and that should be all you need to do on the cap. Before I told you about these square clamps that I like, that do everything square, you'll see that it holds everything nice and flush. You get a couple of these, glue it up, and you're not going to be having a lot of issues. They're going to dry real fast. You can also use spring clamps. Um, what I probably would recommend doing using some wax paper and gluing up more than one at a time okay so what I recommend doing at this point is getting some wax paper you can get it pretty much anywhere and uh, putting some down this will keep any parts from sticking to your works area and you can also use it in between the pieces to get it all set up. So now I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about earlier with uh, getting these set up. So take part number 26, run a bead of glue all the way down it. You don't even really need to, to do what I'm about to do, but I kind of like to do this because it makes uh, the glue stick out. Get one of these silicone rubber brushes and just kind of spread the glue around. You don't even need to be real good about I just like to make sure that every piece of this wood has glue on it so that it'll stick and I've had good success doing it this way so take 26 and then like I said earlier it doesn't matter which side you start with on these posts but just press it down on 26 now you'll notice that it's automatically gonna stick we're golden now I'll take two pieces of 27 and do the same thing. 
You got parts on 27 here. They're glue on parts number 27. So you're just going to put them on the sides and then sandwich them up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flatten the end to make sure all of them are stuck. Uh, that, you know, that it's nice and flush on the top there, up here. Now, I've got 126 and 227s on here. I just need another 26. Same procedure. I'm going to beat a glue down it. Take my silicone brush. Just get all the wood covered up. So now, all I have to do is pop it in there in between the two pieces of 27. You may need to do some a little bit of adjusting. But now, I've got that piece 100% in there. So what I want to do is I want to press it on the end to make sure that all the pieces are flat. They're nice. You can see that they're all in there. They're nice and square. So now what I want to do is I'm going to clamp this up. Now, clamping is pretty easy. Like I said, I like these ones that automatically square up. So what I do is, along the top edge, I like to have 27 facing up. Along the top edge, I like to clamp every few inches. So, then what I like to do is just kind of make sure that the, the pieces haven't gotten off alignment at all. If they have, manually adjust them and then clamp them back down. They'll hold after that. You want to make sure that this is as square as you can make it. That way it cuts back on the amount of filling that you have to do. So now that we've got that, the top sides done, now what I'm going to do is come back put a spring clamp here. Just put them in the gaps. And this will hold the side pieces in while this sets up. Put some on the ends to hold everything nice and straight. The more clamps you have for this procedure, the better. And then all you have to do is let it set up. Now, the next thing we're going to cover in the next video is these little pieces here, the little notch shapes that actually go on the posts themselves. So we'll cover this once these have done because you can see that the dimensions are all off. Um, but uh, these are the little decorative pieces that go down the sides that give it that little notch, excuse me, I'm sorry, give it that little notch cutout. And we'll cover that in the next video.